I work with Projeto Mantis, my institution, and we study these amazing insects, which are the praying mantis of Brazil. They come in all shapes and colors and sizes, and we are trying to uncover the hidden biodiversity, which means like we're looking for rare or new species like this beautiful kite mantis from the Amazon. I work with Lucas, who is a graphic designer. I'm a biologist, so we are this team walking in the rainforest. And we do mainly expeditions, scientific outreach, photography, and environmental awareness. So we also bring this cool aspect of science, which is bringing design into it. So we make science to look cool and amazing and appealing to everybody. And we work at night. So uh, usually people are going to sleep. We are going to the rainforest. And we find this most teeming, vibrant biodiversity because in the rainforest in the coast of Brazil, we have the Atlantic rainforest, which is not the Amazon, but it has a similar biodiversity in, in terms of uh, quantity. There's a lot to discover there. And when you go out at night at rainforest, that's when you find most of its biodiversity. And I'm going to share you a bit of our last journey on the Atlantic rainforest, which was Espirito Santo, a bit down from Bahia. We found this amazing biodiversity there. So you can see like crazy insects with those open wings, all kinds of shapes and colors, even butterflies sleeping. We, find a lot, we found a lot of snails, rain frogs, and all kinds of weird shapes of frogs, uh, lichen, katydids. Tarantulas, which are usual, more usual at least in the Amazon, but there, because there's a link to this part of Bahia and Espirito Santo to the Amazon, a past link, they are not connected anymore, that you can find a lot of tarantulas. Leaves that are not leaves, they are katydids whose wings are shaped just like a perfect fresh leaf. And when they open their wings, it has like all of these colors. And there we are taking our photos and documenting all this biodiversity, but looking for the praying mantis that we were looking for. So we found a lot of praying mantis there. This is the classic ring one, uh, very big as well, but not the largest that we were looking for. We found the stick mantis of Brazil. We found the little brown mantis, which is very tiny. Some were very camouflaged, like the bark mantis. The unicorn mantis, which is unique. Uh, in this in South America and it's very beautiful. You can see the little horn that gives its name, the unicorn mantis, the lichen mantis, the first time I saw this one. Uh, we found new species, like this one is a new species, but it was not the one we were looking for. We found the dry leaf mantis and we spent a week in the rainforest looking for this large one. And by the end, we were like uh, feeling a bit, it was a success. We found all this biodiversity, but where was this big praying mantis? And by the end of the last night at 4.30 in the, in the morning, we finally found it. The largest mantis of Brazil, known only to Amazonia, now found on the Atlantic rainforest. So we just discovered the largest mantis of this coast uh, rainforest, the Atlantic rainforest. It's not a known species, so we're going to describe it. It has no name for science, and we are very proud to present this biodiversity that is still hidden. So, you know, like many naturalists like Darwin have been walking the rainforest of Brazil, the coast of Brazil for a long time. And a lot of researchers came after, but it's still there is a lot to discover because the biodiversity is huge. And that's why we have to protect it. That is the reserve. And on the other side, we saw that. So whatever we find land that is not protected, it's hard to keep the forest alive. So we have to keep pushing uh, our governments, our people to protect our rainforest and have them like this. So we can find new species like this one. I just brought it to finish. Batis phoenix is a species we described in 2020. And this female was only found on the botanical garden of Rio. There's a lot of new species. All of those are new species of mantis. We're still describing a lot of discover to discover in our rainforest in the land as well. And in 20 days, we are traveling to Amazon again for this expedition, Mantis Imaginary in Amazonia. So I hope you can follow our project, follow me and Lucas through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, go to our website and keep our work being visible for you. So with me, I have here a small praying mantis for you to appreciate. So all of the prey mantis that we have, we take care of them. So we go to the rainforest, we collect them, and then we take care of them at our home. So we have a lot of prey mantis. You can see here on the back, all of them. And this one, 
came from that expedition, actually, the one from Spirit Santo. It was a little, little baby when we found her. She's a bit suspicious now, but they are pretty charismatic animals. They are harmless to us. So you can see the big eyes. They have a good vision. They are amazing, almost like a, a pet insect. They are amazing animals. <laughs>